Welcome back to Craftardia, today we'll be modding the blunt melee weapons of Fallout 4. There is quite a few blunt weapons available and I managed to get all of them. Unfortunately they don't have a ton of modding options, but enough to create some cool stuff. We'll start with the baseball bat. The bat's quite slow and you can add two different types of mods to it. An upgrade and a color, or more specifically a type. Keep in mind that every upgrade makes the bat increasingly heavier. One of those upgrades can be barbed that adds armor piercing damage. The spiked is similar to barbed, it just adds a bit more damage. The sharp upgrade makes the targets bleed. Chain wrapped just adds a bit of extra damage, while bladed makes targets bleed and does the biggest amount of damage. I like when it bleeds, so I took the bladed upgrade. When it comes to the type of the bat, you can add a few different colors and a few different types of wood to it that don't change anything except the appearance of the bat. The last type is the aluminium mod. This type increases damage by 4 and lowers the weight by 0.6 and it looks awesome. Since my bat is shiny and attempting to hit a home run with it will end up slicing the ball and everything else that comes in its way, it is the shiny home slice. Next we have the board, it is a very shitty and slow weapon that can be spiked or punctured, both add armor piercing and improve the damage a bit. The bladed mod makes the targets bleed as usual. I took the puncturing mod because it kinda looks cool, like it has teeth, so I call this weapon splinter, because one of those teeth can get stuck in the target, similarly to how a splinter gets stuck in your hand, I think it makes sense. Lead pipe is next, its speed is medium and it only has two upgrades available, the spiked that is familiar from before and the heavy. The heavy mod adds a chance to cripple the target and the damage towards the limbs is increased. I took the heavy mod and named this weapon traumatizer, because it just looks like something that can't kill you, but it can bring a lot of pain and trauma. Now we have the pipe wrench, it has medium speed and it can be hooked, which gives you a chance to disarm the target, heavy, which gives extra limp damage, puncturing, and extra heavy, which gives it a chance to cripple as well. I took this mod because it reminds me of those noodle shaper wheels. Meet noodle shaper, next generation noodle kitchen tool. Another type of pipe wrench is the Big Jim. This is a unique weapon that you can find near Walden Pond. When you get there you'll see this shack. Enter the shack and then enter this door. Walk straight down and you'll find Big Jim next to the toolbox. This weapon gives a 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. I gave it the hook mod and called it Captain Jim. Turns out crippling someone's leg with it is a bit difficult. Next is the pull stick, it can be barbed or sharp. You see, the game tells me that the barbed mod doesn't make the targets bleed, while the sharp one does. I don't really understand this, because if you stick the barbed stick up someone's butt, they will definitely bleed. Therefore, this will be the butt stick for the brave. Rockville Slugger is next, which is also a unique weapon. To get it, you gotta visit Mo in Diamond City, he sells it. Its special power is using 40% less action points, which is quite nice actually. The standard weapon has spikes and its type is Oak. I just changed the type to red and left everything else as it is. I like this name. <laughs> The magnificent rolling pin is next, you can add a sharp or spiked mod to it. I went with the sharp, it seems a bit better than spiked, and the type can be wood or aluminium, and of course I took aluminium. It is a weak weapon, but it is a great grandma's tool.
Next weapon is the Security Baton. It can be electrified or have a stun pack. Electrified adds electrical damage, obviously, and the stun pack adds the ability to stun the target. Stunning is nice, and I took it, of course. When using this weapon, targets should quickly learn to stop resisting. Sledgehammer's Turn. This is a very popular tool in most games that have melee weapons, but in Fallout 4 it only has two mods, which kind of disappointed me. You can add the Puncturing or Heavy mod. The Heavy makes it look like some cartoony sledgehammer, while the Puncturing makes it look like those meat beaters. Since I like beating my meat, I took it. This is the meat beater. Another type of the sledgehammer is the Super Sledge. This is the Super Saiyan version of the sledgehammer. You can add a heating coil to it that adds energy damage, or a stun pack that adds the ability to stun, like the baton. It does a shit ton of damage and it is worth a shit ton of caps. I was thinking of a good name for it, but Stunning Super Sledge is just a great fucking name, man. The tire iron only has one mod, the bladed. It makes the weapon look like some sort of a Michael Myers butcher knife, so I named it Limberer. It's quite effective. The walking cane can be barbed or spiked. Barbed looks cooler, and I'm sure everyone will respect the grandpa's tool. That's it for all the blunt melee weapons of Fallout 4. Some of them are quite gruesome, but I'm not too crazy about them. Pretty much only the Super Sledge is satisfying to use, and perhaps the butt stick. Thanks for watching as always, and make sure to leave some comments about how you love me. I need that in my life. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.